Hello and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily if you are new here and I'm the girl who reads a lot. As you can tell from the title, we are attempting to read 200 pages every single day, which is honestly quite a lot for me, but I'm up for the challenge. I'm up for it. So I started reading a new book last night. This is The Night in Question by Kathleen Glasgow and Liz Lawson. So I ended up reading to page 107, which means today we have to get to 307. The book is about 390 pages, I believe. Yeah, 392. So I won't be finishing this one today, but I will get kind of close. This is about two high school girls who are solving these murders in their coastal California town, and it is just the coziest mystery series ever. I have a couple books that I'd like to complete this week. I'm quite the rule follower. I don't know about you guys, but like kind of a baby when it comes to rules. Like I get a little bit scared. So I will be like, if I tell myself I have to read 200 pages every day, I have to. Like I will. So I'm not too worried about like completing it. No, I'm not worried at all. Actually, this is going to be great. So we're starting Monday morning. It is 9.37 a.m. Let's get reading. got these new glasses and I feel like they look really goofy on me but it's fine. Okay it's about 3 45 p.m and I'm on page 204 which is almost 100 pages read today. I knew I would like this book because I loved the first one so going into it I expected to enjoy it but I'm enjoying it so much and it's so fast paced. If you're someone who's like into murder mysteries but sometimes they can feel a little bit slow I totally agree with you but this one is so fast paced and the two main characters are these two girls who are just so smart and witty and like they're so unique like both of them are very different but they work so well together and it's just so much fun to read so about 50 pages left until I'm done for the day. This day was actually kind of easy, like the 200 pages didn't feel like a challenge. So let's dive back into this and finish these 50 pages. It's Tuesday morning at 10.33 a.m. I haven't started reading at all today. I'm on page 309 and I have... So the, page, the book is 392 pages. So 92 minus 9 is 83. So I have 83. Was that right? I really hope that was right. I have 83 pages left to read of this book and then I'm going to start a new one. I'm going to start one on my iPad, I think. I read like all my Kindle books on my iPad because I don't have like an actual Kindle. Um, but I realized they have a million books on like Kindle Unlimited and like ebook arcs that have just been collecting dust. So I'm gonna go to them next after this. I will check back in with you and let you know my thoughts on this when I am done. Book number one of this challenge is completed. I finished the remaining 83 pages I needed to finish. I think I'm going to be giving this a four. I loved this. I thought it was so much fun. It's fun. It's lighthearted. Like it's nothing too complicated, but it is complicated enough where it's not like dumb because I know a lot of murder mysteries can fall short because they're like predictable and super easy to guess. This one is perfect, I feel like, and it was a super easy read. I loved it. So if you are looking for a murder mystery. Okay, I think the next one I'm going to read is going to be A Lady's Guide to Scandal. I just read A Lady's Guide to Fortune Hunting like two weeks ago, I think, 
and I loved it and I read it so fast. So this not oh this didn't even come out yet. I just realized this is an arc. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna read this one. I'm pretty excited. This is like a Regency era romance. Avengers 10 out of 10. They're so good. I love these and I love this author. So yeah, I think this is what we're gonna do next. started reading. I have my coffee. I have 200 pages of A Lady's Guide to Scandal to read today. Not too worried about finishing it because I'm very hooked, very interested in the story. So let's start reading for a little bit. Okay, I just came back from like 40 minute walk with my boyfriend. We are slowly making progress. I'm on page 155. That's honestly really not good. I need to read to 320 today and it is 546. So we need to like buckle down and get reading for like at least an hour right now. I can't lie, right now the book is giving Pride and Prejudice. I'm eating it up. I'm eating it up. It's so good. It's like a, a good love triangle in the best way possible. Like these two men are absolutely in love with her and she doesn't even realize it. This is awesome. sorry for the awful quality of this video because I'm recording on my phone right now but I can't even be bothered to get up right now and grab my camera because I need to record my reaction to what I just read I am in shock I did not guess this did not guess this and usually with like a Regency era romance there's not something to like guess like you know what I mean but okay another plot twist happened but I saw this one coming and I was rooting for it from the very very beginning I just knew like I just knew and I'm so happy it happened. So happy. Okay, I finished that book last night. So I read over the 200 page mark. I read like, I don't know, 230 pages. That book was so good. I'm telling you, if you guys are looking for a romance, even if like you're typically not a Regency era romance kind of girl, pick it up because the banter, the tension. I, and then actually I rated this like 4.75, but I just round up to five on Goodreads. I went on Goodreads to check the ratings so many people didn't like this so like maybe don't listen to what i'm saying but like you should um there's like a love triangle trope going on and people hate that so i guess that's why but like don't listen to them listen. just please ignore my appearance today there's really nothing i can do about it this is just what i look like today <laughs> you're gonna be scared when i show you this i think i got bit by a spider <laughs> or a tick I don't know, but I'm not doing anything about it right now because I'm scared of doctors. So I'm just hoping it goes away. Please don't look, it's embarrassing. Please don't look. I finished up, as I said earlier, A Lady's Guide to Scandal, which was so good. Highly recommend it, I loved it. And now I'm starting out with The Book Eaters by Sun Yu Dean. This book is about this group of, I don't know what to call them, they're not humans. I literally think they're called book eaters and what they do is eat books for knowledge. So if they want to learn about geography, they'll read, they'll eat a book about geography. You know what I mean? But this is about a family of book eaters and it's kind of this like clan in England of all these like important families. Like they're very rich. They live in like castles and they're kind of secluded from the rest of the world. And it goes back and forth between when our main character, her name, her name's Devin. I'm so sorry. When she is a little girl living in the castle and then it goes to present day and she is living in an apartment with her son and her son is a mind eater which means literally what it sounds like he eats minds and she's trying to get him this medicine that will help him survive off of books but he needs human brains to survive it's very interesting it's very weird but i'm really enjoying it i'm on page 21 um and so i'm gonna hit my 200 page mark with just this book today i will keep you guys updated as always and fill you in on my thoughts as i go 
let me tell you guys this was just a bad reading day for me i did not feel good today at all and when i don't feel good i really am not good at reading i don't like comprehend what i'm reading so i decided let's just cut it off at 100 pages today and watch a movie so that's what i did but i have to tell you this book is so good and i'm so excited to get back into it tomorrow okay regular content in three two one okay back to our regularly scheduled program it's now friday morning feeling slightly better than I felt yesterday. So I am gonna get back to reading today. I wanna give you a little update on this book. I have gotten up to page 107, which that's all right. So I'm in a little bit of a weird spot with it. It's kind of turning into like super action-y. It's set in present time and I kind of wish it wasn't. The premise of the story is weird and unique and i just kind of want to run with that and make it like a fantasy setting i don't know i don't really like that it's like a current day setting like they have phones and i'm just weird with that stuff so that's like kind of making this eh for me i want to hear more about like the politics of it and like the ins and outs and like how it works and all that stuff and like the castles like i don't know we're gonna keep reading for a little bit today and i will check back in with you guys gonna read for like the next 30 minutes i only have like 70 pages left of the book and then it's done i'm honestly not loving it it's interesting and it's good but i'm not loving it i'll tell you more once i'm done but once i'm done those 70 pages that is a total of like 190 or something for the day so we're just gonna say this is what good but it was not what I thought it would be this cover and the description felt like it would be more fantasy and this felt like an action spy kind of book with characters that were able to eat books if that makes sense so a lot of it was like planning and scheming and plotting running from people hiding it's just not what I thought it would be so I didn't love it like I, I think I'm gonna give it three stars but I feel like if I went into it knowing it was more of like a actiony book I probably would have given it maybe three and a half maybe four because the writing is pretty good it just wasn't like really what I thought it would be but if you're looking for that kind of book I recommend so that is it for tonight tomorrow we'll start a new one okay guys we are on the last day of the challenge it's saturday i think i have a very bold pick for the book choice on my last day let me walk you through my thought process so there i was last night i just finished my last book it was okay you know it was all right but i'm also looking for something that's 200 pages ish something that's not super long so that i can probably finish it in one day so that you guys aren't left on a cliffhanger you're welcome but then what sticks out at me but <laughs> the gorgeous copy i have that has been collecting dust of crescent city by sarah jama <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I'm literally picking this for the last day. Um, this is obviously much more than 200 pages, so I'm obviously leaving you on a cliffhanger. I really want to read it. I feel like it's speaking to me. I feel like it's time. So we're going to read the first 200 pages today, and then you're just going to have to check back in on my channel to see my thoughts later. So, sorry. <laughs> guys it's me the liar i only got to page 50. i swore that i would be home all day to read and that's just not how this day went i thought i'd keep it real with you guys like it was just not a reading day so i failed i failed this challenge i already failed it like two nights ago but i failed it twice so and i feel like i'll do it again like i've realized that 200 pages in a day is feasible every day no but in a day, yes. I finished three books, started a fourth. I read a 
fantasy, somewhat a murder mystery, a romance. Like we did it all this week. It was so fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, and I hope you guys did too. So I hope this inspired you to read a little bit more or maybe inspired you to read a little bit less since I failed. I hope you guys enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching. I will catch you on Wednesday with my next upload. Have a fantastic day. If you liked this, remember to like and subscribe because it helps my channel grow. I will see you next time.